Alright, so here we are at the start of the trail. Here with Drew. Wish us luck. All right, so here's where the trail ends and we're supposed to cross this river, which I don't think there's any way to do that. So we're gonna head upstream here and try to find somewhere to cross. It's snowing, it feels great. It's like 30 degrees, I'm sweating, but this, the snow and rain feels amazing. So we'll see what happens. So we went upstream and there's still no way to cross. So we're gonna find another way around. Wish us luck. So we haven't been able to cross the big river yet, but we're working our way there, I think. There's a big waterfall. Pretty cool. Drew, how are you feeling? All right. All right. All right. <laughs> yes. Wish us luck. So we made a campsite. I'm gonna be over there. And we got Drew over there. And we got the river right there. Beautiful, beautiful scenic overview. I'm bleeding in like 16 different places. <laughs> I had to cross that river and I uh, did it barefoot and I cut my foot on a rock, I think. But uh, that water was like ice cold. Never again. Maybe once. So like I said, we, we crossed that river there and man, it was probably at least 50 yards, 40 to 50 yards wide. And that water's gotta be like next to close to freezing. He's over there knocking trees down. But our boots are soaked, so we've for like the last hour and a half been trying to get this fire going and, and to dry these boots. And I already burnt burnt my boots. Look, I burnt my boots. So, work in progress. And this is the current state of uh, my hair because my hair is all jacked up. But I was almost waist deep in the water and I, I thought I was gonna die. I, uh, the guy I'm with, he was leaving like, dude, you got halfway and I was just praying that you would make it. <laughs> it was probably like the dumbest thing you could do. Uh, but we did it. So there's that. So we uh, crossed that river, like I was saying, and it was probably like 40, 50 yards wide. And whenever we did that, I was like about waist deep almost, probably up to my thighs. You got a good one? 
I did. <laughs> he's got a. <laughs> he got some more firewood. <laughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> but halfway across, I was like, dude, you're not gonna make this. It's so freaking cold. I thought I was gonna die. And even the guy I was with, he was like, I was praying, sending you my love, and he's like, dude, I. I was hoping you get across. He said that was some mental fortitude right there. He's just super impressed. I sliced my foot open on a, on a rock and I couldn't even feel my feet halfway through. It was so cold. Uh, shoo. But um, we're having fun, right? This is fun. I'm having fun. On a serious note, I am having fun. Um, but I'm learning a ton. So that's what I came out here to do and I'm pretty happy with that. That is our fire. Might get a little bit of a clear sky. Yeah, it's all aligned. So here I am in my tent. Got my junk over there my sleeping bag here probably can't see it that well but I'm sitting on it that's a pretty nice setup it's pretty spacious a little light there hanging uh, but man so the water was probably like three and a half four feet deep and we trekked across it and my dumb ass went like to the deepest part and that water was super cold like i mentioned earlier and so we spent probably the better half four and a half hours drying our boots and socks on a very hot fire borderline burning and scolding my boots like i have burn marks on my boots because i tried to dry it very quickly then i realized that this light thing here is also a pump and i could have just used that pump to blow air and dry it out so <clears throat> learning a ton through this backpacking trip. Um, definitely gonna buy some tongs for like the, the metal cups to take it out of the fire. Um, what are some other things? I'm gonna get some like Crocs to bring so I can wear around the camp. And uh, what else? Can't think of any right now, but I'm learning a ton. This is actually a lot of fun. And uh, I'm very tired, so hopefully I can fall asleep quick. See y'all tomorrow morning. All right, so it's seven o'clock in the morning. I, uh, okay. I had some pretty good moments where I was sleeping all right, but I woke up like five or six times. <sighs> so there's that. But um, it's freezing cold right now. So I'm gonna get dressed and we'll take a video of the outside. All right, it's been a couple hours, and now the water seems to have uh, gone down a little bit. So hopefully we won't have to uh, daredevil across it. The sun's about to come out over that mountain, which is cool. Got my coffee going here. <laughs> How are you feeling after yesterday? I'm good. Good, thanks for asking. So what do we got to do today? Um, we're gonna go three miles up to Lion's Head. Mm. View, scenic view. Very scenic. Very scenic. So hopefully we'll see our buddy up there. <laughs> he made it. So there was a random guy who we met after we crossed the river. And I think through us crossing the river, he decided he didn't want to do that because he's like, these guys are crazy. And uh, we saw him like an hour and a half later going the other way. So we'll see what happens. We want to run into him. He was supposed to run another five miles or, or do another five miles of hiking. I don't think he got that done. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, we'll see what happens.
Oh, we did. <laughs> All right, we made it to the lion's head. Super scenic. why they call it God's country. So here's where we're at. We're trying to cross this river and we got halfway across but there's no good way to cross the whole way in our cars are on that side. So trying to brainstorm here what we can do. All right so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to walk across that fucking branch to get across. That's the only way home. All right, so I didn't quite make it. <laughs> Drew pushed me in. <laughs> oh gosh, he made it dry though, so that's good. Yeah. One of us made it dry, because I did not. I am like standing in a lake of water. You should show the site. Oh yeah, we gotta show the, the damage yeah. here. Here. So here was our idea. We took that skinny ass branch got across the first half, plan with both of us to stay on that rock and then move it down to the other half, which we did. And then I got a quarter of the way and fell in because that current is so strong it took my stick, my makeshift stick. But we were able to hold it down so he could get across. And uh, we're about a mile and a half out from the site, so probably have a couple blisters, but all in the name of experience. All right, so made it back to the car. Not without a couple cuts and bruises. I can't really see it there, but uh, this one. Got like a little brush burn there. And my backpack strap broke <laughs> halfway through the day, so I had to make one. And they put all the, uh, well, I didn't have my thing sized properly either, so. A lot of learning lessons this this trip so next time will probably be a lot better as far as like making less mistakes but uh i had fun so that was dolly sods and uh we'll see where we go next